been sort of in and out of Wallaby camps since 2009 and I've oh, just been hanging out for that chance to get a gig and yeah, Robbie uh, gave me a shot and uh, what a great experience, something I won't forget. Still remember the first try? Yeah, yeah, mate, um, how about that? And it's kind of 81,000, biggest crowd I've ever played against and and um, yeah, <laughs> it was amazing, but he, obviously the, the boys were stoked and, and I was just as even more stoked. And obviously you had a bit of a break now and uh, back into swinging. Yeah, mate, uh, ducked off up to, uh, up to the snow and, and uh, had a bit of a relax. Um, built a couple of snow caves and um, ate a couple of snow cones. <laughs> That's about it. So you've been monitoring what's been happening here from afar, recruitment and the way the training, you've been in touch with the boys while you've been away? Mm, not really. Um, been trying to sort of, you know, get, get as far away as possible so I can come back in with, uh, you know, a bit of venom and eye the tiger to uh, take on the season ahead. So have you spoken to Michael since, since you've been back, yeah, I spoke to him uh, just before I left to go on my, on my holiday, and um, yeah, he had some good things to say, and I was, um, you know, excited to come back. And this morning, in front of all the boys in the team meeting, he made me get up and um, say a few say a few words, and uh, making out it's some mandatory thing that happens to everyone that comes in on their first day, which uh, a bit of a stitch up. But um, no, the boys had a laugh at my expense. It was great. I mean, you've obviously seen uh, the recruitment has gone on. The backline is going to be totally different again from last year. How have you seen it panning out at the moment? Yeah, look, I saw a little bit of uh, bit of vision um, in, in the team meeting, and yeah, the boys are whole new faces, and uh, I'm still trying to remember most of the names. I'm, I'm not awfully uh, great in that area, but you know, um, they, they look sharp, and you know, with their preparations, the new preparations is um, it's coming along well, and I've just got to try and fit in there. And like, there's no you know, there's no guarantees on positions. You got to you have to you know make it your own spot. So. These blokes have already got the jump on me, so it's going to be uh, an effort to, to get in the mix. Talking of positions, as Michael spoke to you about, is it going to be out and out wing this year, or maybe no, that's bring the, you back inside or inside centre? Well, that's the know? mysterious part. He's trying to play the mysterious card on me, and um, yeah, no, it hasn't given me any, any leads or anything, so I think he's trying to show me that I've got to, I've got to you know, have a good crack to, to uh, be known, be what, noted. What's your, what's your preference? Back out, stay out on the wing? Yeah, look, I don't mind, you know, hanging around on the wing, but if I have to uh, go into the centres and, and, you know, I'm, I'm happy to try new things as well. Like, I have a little bit at the centre, but, um, yeah, obviously more experience at wing. But, mate, I'm, you know, I'm getting a bit older now, so I uh, wouldn't mind trying new things. And, and I guess looking at the way that, if you are going to be out on, that, out on the wing and looking at the way the back line's lining up compared to last year, you're going to hope you're going to get a bit more ball wide because that's where you fell, fell down a lot last year was in that centre field. Yeah, yeah, look, I'm you know, getting that ball. There's a lot of opportunities missed uh, last year and from getting that ball wide. It's pretty, quite frustrating when you're, when you're out there on the wing and you can see, see the space, but you know, I suppose you know, it comes down to accountability. You've probably got to go looking for it more. But you know, uh, judging off um, you know, some of the players, it looks like uh, we're going to be using the space a bit more this season. It certainly seems that that's what Michael's been saying. Mm. A more attacking flair game. Yeah, you know, hands. Like I'm sure a few of the drills they've been doing is uh, one of the visions I saw was it was just fast ball out to the you know, out of the wing, and, and that's that's what the wing is dreamed to get that fast clean ball because you know when it slows down in the midfield, the defence is up on you and you've got nowhere to go. So it's going to be going to be interesting. And come on, how much confidence do you take out of that Wallaby experience? Do you do you feel like it's made you a better player sort of going into this season? Better person, maybe. Um, <laughs> no, yeah, it has. Look, um, learned a lot in, in Wallaby camp. Um, I, was, I was stoked to, um, you know, be able to take that into into this season and give me give me some sort of advantage, hopefully. And yeah, I, I won't be as nervous this year, but uh, I suppose you you've always you always want more out of yourself. So you know, there's a whole new set of goals and challenges that I've set for myself that I, I want to achieve this year. What are they? Uh, it's confidential, mate. It's none of your business. And <laughs> 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 um, mate, just quickly, the the Lions tour as well. I mean, getting that Wallaby taste does that sort of spur you on to for a big season and then put your hand up for that Lions? Yeah. What about that? You know, Sharpie most capped uh, you know, Wallaby, and I don't think he's got a, he's played against the, the Lions. So, well, you know, it'd be great to get amongst that, but you know, like. All them boys that's over in the camp we just had. There's a lot, a lot of faces, and just that, that battle again to um, get get back into the spot.